What's going on guys? It is Phoenix coming back at you with another video review. And yeah, you know what? Let's do a quick little review today on this guy. This is Takara's Transformers United UN27 Decepticon Wipeout. He came in a two-pack back in 2012-2013 with the United version of Reveal the Shield Wind Charger. For a quick comparison, let's compare him with my very, very dusty Hasbro Wind Charger. Um, who I'm going to do a separate video on, probably in my my favorite Transformers mini series that I'm doing on this channel, because oh my gosh, there's a great story behind how I got this figure. So yeah, there's your quick comparison. You can tell just a straight repaint for Wipeout here, but there's just something about this mold that I just freaking love. There's just a lot to love with this mold. If you don't have it, definitely get this mold. The United pack of Wipeout and the Takara version of Windcharger. Especially because that's a way for you guys to get the Windcharger version of this mold. Which is easily the best Scout class figure we've gotten recently. As a straight repaint, Wipeout has the exact same weapon as Windcharger does. These little, bleh, these little electromagnet fold-out things on either hand. I generally just fold out one just because it looks better, and I kind of liken it on Wipeout to be a built-in gun of sorts. So not necessarily an electromagnet. Anyhow, posability is phenomenal for a scab class figure, pretty much what it was at the time that this mold was originally released. You've got 360 thanks to a ball joint at the shoulder. You've got out about that far. You've got a ball jointed elbow. Got posability here at the wrist due to the weapon gimmick, which you may or may not have seen. Basically, if you have the weapon out or the wrist out, you just fold the other in like so, and the wrist or the weapon pops out. You don't have waist posability. You do have a little bit of back at the leg. It's blocked by this, which Kibble? Not really. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I don't consider it kibble. You got that much forward at leg. You've got a bend at the knee. You've got a poseable kneecap that's due to transformation. And you've got a really nicely done foot. If you look in here, I'll show you on the back of him, you've got that ball joint right there, but then you've got a hinge right here where the foot actually connects. So that definitely allows you to get him some really dynamic poses. And that's for the mold in general, not just wipe out here. Then lastly, on the head, you've got a ball joint, so it's got a nice 360 range of movement, although it is a little bit limited by this flap right here. Let's get to the close-ups, shall we? Let's. Getting a little more up close and personal with wipe out here, you can see some of the just phenomenal molded in detailing with him, and yeah, he is largely black and gray with a little bit of almost midnight blue, but oh, just so much great detailing throughout this figure. Oh my gosh. And I like how they used the shinier version of the blue on the forearms and the head to paint the windows right here. Really nice touch. Nice Decepticon tampograph right there on the hood chest. And yeah. Just for the sake of the thumbnail. There's a better shot of the head sculpt just up close and personal. Alright, and here is Wipeout in his alt mode. And holy crap, if this doesn't tell you on getting this version of the mold, what will? Come on. It's a sleek, fun looking, and frankly sexy black car. Oh god, this thing just looks awesome in this mode. I already love this mold as Wind Charger, so. Yeah, for a simple repaint, this is just brilliantly done, and it really is an example of what happens when you have a good mold, and you just repaint it. You have another good version of the mold. Beautiful looking alt mode. Oh my gosh. Comparison with Hasbro's Wind Charger, not going to bother to transform Takara's, because there's really no difference between this one and Takara's other than a slightly brighter red, a random 
black sticker here and a Autobot tampograph. But and just to wrap things up, here's your close-up on Wipeout in his alt mode. Again, just really freaking awesome looking. Obviously, you've got some visible robot on the underside, but scale class figure, especially from roughly three years ago. I excuse that. He just looks really great. For comparison, real quick. There he is with Hasbro's Wind Charger. So, yeah. Love this mold. It's definitely one of my favorites in my collection. So, if you don't have Wind Charger, definitely get him. I would put the two-pack with Wipeout here on your wish list if you're looking for a fun Transformer this holiday season. But that's just my recommendation. In a nutshell, you have to get your hands on this mold. It's just an awesome, awesome mold. This has been their video review for Takara's Transformers United UN27 Decepticon Wipeout. As always, I'm Phoenix. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.